Countries around the world are facing the challenge of reopening their borders while protecting their population's health. Country to country travel bubbles and corridors are popping up all over. But without coordination and harmonization, this patchwork of policies and restrictions will make travel confusing and uncertain for a long time to come. On July 9th, the Commons Project, the World Economic Forum, and the Rockefeller Foundation convened more than 350 public and private sector leaders from 52 countries to come together to design the common framework for safe border reopening. We're very happy to make part of this very important effort. We see a lot of value in it. It's essential for everybody that travel works and that people can have a simple, reliable and trustworthy system to get in touch and draw the conclusions they need so that they can safely travel. We are really coming together to think about how to leverage common paths to reopen travel and trade, both within the continent, but also linking Africa to the rest of the world. How do we reconcile all the different requirements into one single simple automated transaction for travelers, for airlines, for government authorities? So the first element of what we're proposing is asking countries to basically publish their updated screening entry requirements using a standard format on a common framework. The next element of the framework is what we're basically want, what we're going to create is a global registry effectively of what are the trusted sites in your countries that are doing COVID-19 lab testing for the purpose of foreign travel and eventually, of course, administering vaccines. Going from there, what we actually want those lab and vaccination sites is basically collect identifying information so that when someone presents those results at a border, we can reconcile this was Paul who got the test is the same person that's crossing my border. So that's one element. And then the second is you make the results available using internationally recognized data standards. From the travel industry, Industry, obviously, as we build this framework, integrate it into your trip reservation and check-in processes. But ultimately, being able to leverage a common framework means those apps and services can actually interoperate with others around the world. First, someone actually gets tested or gets vaccinated. Their results or vaccination records need to go somewhere in two places. One, to a national or local registry. Alternatively, to a personal health record. Here in a moment about how Apple Health works, Common Health, which is the effect of the Android equivalent. So ultimately, those become common shared services. The combination of those things mean when someone actually wants to go to a country, there's an engine that effectively says, what are the current entry rules? Where was this lab test from? What's the result? Does it meet the requirements, green or red? And that's really what the framework does. That capability, that framework, can then get embedded in many other apps and services that people are building to actually solve this problem and enable travel I think we need to think about both the trust by the traveler, whether it's the trust of the, that the person sitting next to them doesn't have COVID, or it's the trust of the government that is implementing whatever the platform is. And one of the big appeals from my position is the privacy protecting nature of the shared platform that uh, Common Pass makes possible. So that's what we're building with the Common Pass framework. We welcome your collaboration as we forge this common path forward. Please learn more and get in touch with us at thecommonsproject.org.